Hello and welcome to this short video on internet safety. My name is Connor Fadgen. I work with Bampton Ireland as our National Governance Officer. So just introducing this video to look at what we're going to cover here. Uh, just how to protect yourself online, just given the current situation around the pandemic and the restrictions that we have, there is an increased use in uh, the internet and, and emails uh, specifically. So uh, we're going to look at what to do if you receive a suspicious email. And also then just looking in terms of some of the support organisations and additional training that is out there if you need some more information. So in terms of protecting yourself online, we'll just look specifically into phishing emails, what they are and what they look like and what to just keep an eye out for as well, how to identify them. Uh, also, we will look at online shopping and online scams just briefly as well and where those can be reported if you have any issues there. So in terms of phishing emails, they're usually uh, quite they can be quite varying in terms of what they look like. Uh, some of them have different traits. So it's just to pinpoint here, just some of the uh, issues that we have found of late in terms of some of these phishing emails. So if we just take the first email there up in the top right hand corner, what you'll notice is that the email doesn't really look uh, credible, I suppose is the best way of putting it. It's got no hashtag reply, at 878.8 uh, Unicred, you know, it's it's quite long winded. OK, there's also another couple of um, pieces here just to identify as well in terms of like the Office 365, the off, the the second F there looks slightly off. So it doesn't look like it's from Microsoft Office specifically. And generally, if you do get an email from Microsoft Office, in, in most cases, it would look uh, quite um, quite credible and also they're asking you here to click on a link which is another common trait in any of these um, in any of these phishing emails so it's just to be aware of that as well in the second email here over to the left we have it that it's from a trusted sender so this one actually does look like it's it's come from a, a very uh, credible source which is another way of uh, trying to mask and um, mask their mask the the fact that it is a phishing email but what we have in this case is to play an audio message which is another feature which has come around of late and uh, where they're asking you to play a certain uh, a certain uh, audio message or a clip or another link okay so just to be aware of that as well and what we've also found lately is that some of these phishing emails um they're not even providing the email. It just looks like it's coming from a personal, a person that you know, and they're masking the email from there. And it can start off as very, kind of a very kind of informal way of trying to to uh, to get you to lead into further questions. Now, in terms of in terms of the uh, phishing emails and how to handle those, um, we'd ask you to delete them. From your inbox don't click on any links you know particularly if it's going to your personal email account we would advise clubs counties branches to uh, to uh, enable their secure emails that can that, that Bampton Ireland have provided so it's an office 365 account um, with that we can offer additional security and IT support so there's emails available for secretaries club development and safeguarding officers so in, in terms of phishing, email, phishing emails, it's a case of deleting those, uh, deleting them from your deleted items and making sure that you're not sending them on to other people to, to go clicking the links onto either. Okay, it's, uh, that's the, the best mechanism for handling those particular phishing issues. In terms of online shopping, look, there's obviously increased vulnerability. Uh, I'm just going to briefly touch on this. It's it's making sure that you check where you're buying from. Are they authentic? Uh, and are they using secure payment methods? So PayPal, Stripe, um, you know, they, sh they should never ask for a direct bank transfer. So further advice on online shopping 
uh, and how to protect yourself can be sought from the consumer and competition sorry and consumer protection commission which is the ccpc.ie in the republic of ireland and also through consumer line uh, there is a direct line there through the ni direct website also just in terms of online scams just to bear in mind look uh, there is a number of scams that are ongoing um, and and even prior to covid these would have been quite prominent but i suppose just with the amount of traffic that is currently online these are becoming more and more prevalent and they just require you to be a bit more uh, a bit more in tune as to what could potentially be around the corner in terms of an email or anything like that so again lottery and grant scams romance scams investment opportunity scams working from home scams copycat government websites holiday frauds farming and mandate fraud there is further information available on the citizens information um website and also on the ni direct website as well in terms of these and, and, and a bit more detail there so it's just to make you aware and look in the case of any you undergoing any of those it's really a case of getting in touch with the statutory authorities on that So in terms of where we go to report any of these online crime or threats, particularly in these in these areas of illegal content, financial transaction fraud or personal information, we just simply have a list here in terms of where you go in either jurisdiction, whether it's in the Republic of Ireland or Northern Ireland. So in terms of illegal content, you'd be looking to hotline.ie or uh, in Northern Ireland, the PSNI. In terms of financial transactions, you would be going directly first to your bank or credit card company and then reporting maybe onto the statutory authorities then. In terms of fraud, it would be the statutory authorities on Garda Síochána in the Republic of Ireland or uh, Action Fraud or the PSNI in Northern Ireland. And in terms of personal information, so in a situation possibly where your uh, personal information or any sensitive information relating to yourself has been complicated or, or uh, maltreated, or stolen, uh, then you would obviously be contacting the Data Protection Commission in the Republic of Ireland, or you'd be contacting the Information Commissioner's Office in Northern Ireland. So in terms of support organisations and further training opportunities, there is a lot of information available on the Citizens Information and NI Direct websites. Uh, for, for those particular jurisdictions. Also then uh, on the childline.ie, there's some inf for information there relating to um, child safety online, as well as cybersafekids.ie. Uh, there's some excellent information and resources there, particularly around keeping children safe online uh, during this period of downtime. Also then, as you can see over on the right-hand side, there's, uh, there's a training available on the Sport Ireland website called Staying Safe Online, and that's that's available for everyone to use. It's a it's a click through training training program, and also then in terms of webwise uh, .ie and hotline .ie, there's also information uh, there as well. Just to keep you keep you in the loop on that. So thanks very much for watching. I hope it's been of some interest and some use to you. And uh, look, if you have any questions or queries on, on the topic, if you have received phishing emails and aren't sure what to do, please don't hesitate to get in touch um, with me on my contact details there. So you'll get me on safeguarding at badmintonireland.com or indeed on my mobile there, 0860288555. Thanks very much.